Hello and welcome back to the third installment of the progression challenge of Harlan is in Danger. I am your host, Mitch, though some of you might know me as Leroy, and I'm joined with my co-host, Tom. Hello, I'm also here still. Uh, we are uh, starting our final run of Night of the Zealot, so at the end of this we'll know which campaign we're going on to, uh, whether or not we get to have Lita Chandler in our card pool moving forward, and I guess we'll also probably learn some other things about ourselves and each other and uh, make a lot of friends along the way. Um, for upgrades, I kind of ended up, I know I was banking some uh, victory to buy some new investigators for the next campaign, I ended up spending that all to buy shotguns and extra ammo because if we if we are able to slay this Elder God, we can go play the Forgotten Age, which is I think both of our favorite campaign. Uh, yeah, it's definitely top tier for us. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, anyway, I'll I'll stop uh, talking about that stuff, and I'll read some flavor for you and talk about that stuff. Well, right. one one thing I want to add before you do that is that part of the justification as well is that we... Um, because we can pool our experience points at the end to buy new investigators, I figured... I was like... All right, you just get the shotguns, and that way we have it back. Even if we don't kill Mordoff, what we yeah. can do is kill the cultists we weren't able to get rid of last time, mm -hmm. and then that way it kind of frees us up. And and that way I'll I'll just save my XP for the situation in which um, we can use to buy new investigators and Lita and that kind of thing. Yeah, it's like kind of an interesting decision to actually be like, oh, I care about getting victory in the final scenario. Uh, yeah. And this is, this, so far that's been kind of like a fun little, just even like this little between episode recordings where you're like, uh, I was trying to save up for an investigator and you said, oh, I'm a survivor. I don't need this, this victory. Why don't you just grab the big shotguns and go into it without anything? And then at very least you can get victory from the cultists. It was, that was a fun, like kind of new way of thinking yeah. about it. Yeah. Not to pat ourselves on the back. We, I'm <laughs> patting us on the back. There's nothing wrong with patting yourself on the back sometimes. And no, I, I have a lot of the agree. I think this is going, this is super fun. I'm having a great time. I'm having a blast. You should try it, people watching at home. You should try it. <laughs> yeah, this is fun. Like, All right. No joke. All right, go ahead. All right. Um, part three, The Devourer Below. After a frantic nighttime search throughout Arkham, you have tracked down and questioned several members of the cult. Your findings are disturbing. They claim to worship a being known as Umordoth, a monstrous entity from another realm. You are able to confirm much of Lita's story. The cult is agitated over the destruction of a ghoul lair. However, a surprising detail also turns up. The one who invaded the lair and set the knights in motion was none other than Lita Chandler herself. You're not sure why this important detail was omitted from Lita's story. Did she tell you only as much as was necessary to draw you into her conflict? But in another light, she seems to be fighting to protect the city of Arkham from a terrible menace. The final piece of the puzzle was found written in a journal possessed by one of the cultists. It describes a dark ritual to be, be to be performed deep within the woods south of Arkham this very night. According to the journal, the ritual's completion will open a gate and bring forth the cult's dark master into the world. If this cult is not stopped, Lita warns, there is a possibility that Umordoth's vengeance will consume all in its path. Frightened, but determined to stop the ritual, you head into the woods. <sighs> wow, gripping. Uh, the Arkham Woods. We do. I'm gonna do these. Uh, yeah, actually, that'd be great. I'm starting to lose my voice. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take over. No big. Thank you. Uh, from interrogating members of the conspiracy within Arkham, you have learned that they are performing a rite of vengeance in response to the destruction of one of their master's lairs. You have entered the woods outside Arkham to try to stop them. The woods seem unnaturally cold, and filled with a deathly silence. Act one. Uh, investigating the trail. The evidence you've gathered has led you to the woods south of Arkham, where you believe a ritual to summon a being called Mordoth is about to take place. Stealing your resolve, you set forth deeper into the woods, hoping to find the site of this ritual. Six clues to advance. Okay. I'm going to do some mulliganing real quick. So I'm going to get rid of yep. these skills. That. So they don't you cost can... money to play, so... 
Right. This is ordinarily how I set up this scenario, but then I always find there's this weird situation where I find I've done it wrong. Maybe I'll do this. I'll put these on the sides. Well, because these how... these will randomly connect to each other as well, right? Uh, yeah, it's it's I don't know. It's weird. It's messy. All right. Well, uh, I'm happy. I'm happy. Yep. I mean, I can get to work. I I did. The only thing I did change is I did buy a couple of lock picks mm -hmm. from the Rovice corsets. So. Just this because is... it might be helpful to speed things along. If we can't kill Umordoth, then maybe we can stop him from spawning all together. Yeah, yeah. Which is, I think, our our second favorite option, which would lead us to Dunwich, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, how huh? How do we want to do this? Either way, four doom to advance. I'm. I mean. Uh, so you're about to find out anyways. I have Deluca, but I don't have lockpicks. Okay. Yeah, I have... Alright, so I think what I'm going to start with, actually, if you don't mind me starting... Go for I'm, it. I'm just going to start with a beat cop. I, I have the shotgun in my hand, but I feel like I'd rather start with the fist boost right now. Uh, and then I think I'm going to move into one of these locations. Probably this one. Let's just go to this one. Forest after you went you... to Wooden Bridge. Wooden Bridge. After you reveal a chaos token from the chaos bag during an evasion attempt at this location, res reveal and resolve an additional chaos token. Okay. That's fine. I will bring myself to front. And then for my last action, I'm just going to grab a resource. Okay. Right. Actually, I'm going to draw one card to start off my turn. Okay. I did not get what I was looking for. So we will play DeLuca for the second turn, which gives us that action back. And I will move out to a different Arkham Woods location. This is the cliff side. This location is investigated using agility instead of the skill indicated. Nice. That's great. Since that is the case, I will investigate four to two. What's the bad things uh minus the number of monsters in play minus two and place one doom on the nearest enemy if there's minus three if there's a monster enemy at your location take one damage and minus five is there an ancient enemy in play reveal another token so do i boost my skill value or do i just take it on the chin i don't think any of these do anything right now so i think you can just go for yeah it. i'll just go for it then zero nice that's a clue ready to upkeep okie doke upkeeping Nice. See, that's what I was. That's what I was hoping for. Counter deck gives me a frozen in fear. I can live with that. Uh, I get to draw a cultist. Oh, is, is not. Do you want me to do that for you? Yeah, please. Uh, what cultist would you like? Uh, well, he's gonna spawn in an empty location no matter what, right? Uh, unless you get the acolyte of Umord off. Oh, then I'll take that. Yeah. You want that guy? He's got three hit points. And three attack. This is him. You can have him. Wait, wait it's a cultist, right? Yeah, so yeah. you can have one of these guys. This oh, guy's wait, no. Not, this guy's not a cultist. Cool. Yeah, the yeah. disciple of the devourer is the only cultist. Oh, and he has to spawn yeah. for this. So, okay, we'll just put him. I think you have to take... Oh, uh, actually, the, this guy technically counts. Corpse taker. If you no, want. I'll, take so. the, I'll take the disciple. Disciple, it is. And I'm gonna just throw him over. Oh, counter deck is horrible, by the way. It's just, <laughs> just like looking through the cards, I was like, that one's bad, that one's bad, that one's bad. That makes <laughs> it makes some sense, I suppose. So he gets a doom on him, and we have four doom. So I gotta go deal with that this turn, probably. Okay. I might just go do that then. He gains aloof and has plus two health. <sighs> little, little bastard. Yeah, I gotta go start dealing with that now. Okay. Okay. I guess that's my turn then. I'll just go start doing that. Okay, go for it. So I'll move one, two, into this location. And this is... Wait, can you just walk into that location? Can't I? Why wouldn't I be able to? Oh, you spent two actions. I spent oh, I two actions, yeah. yeah. Uh, investigated using... Uh, my willpower instead of the attempted skill. Okay. Um, and I think I will then... 
Well, that's interesting. That kind of changes things a little bit. Uh, I think last action I'll probably gain a resource. Yeah, because I can't really... I think I have one turn to do this, and I think I just have to get ready to do it in, like, a moment. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. okay. I will investigate this location. I'm not going to commit anything. Nice. Plus one. That's two of the clues we need. I think I'm going to... Do I spend two to move back? Did you shuffle the encounter deck after we grabbed my Disciple of the Devourer? I did, or at least I think so. I'll shuffle it again. Okay. Good. Do I... Um, hmm, do I move back? Do I get a card? It looks like we need to clear three of the four locations. That one that you just went to, I can do that, no problem, if you prefer. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, honestly. Yeah, I can. I can handle that. I can move right in there, like this moment. Maybe, maybe I just do that. Yeah, maybe that is a good call. Because okay. then, if we draw another one of these guys, uh, we have more options of where to put them. And then I end my turn, and I will put guts into this frozen in fear. I need that to go away. Uh, yep, that's that's a pass. All right, I get a card, and it goes away. Okay. Upkeep. Nice. Oh, sort of nice. cards. I get a disciple. Okay, we have to deal with him. Do you want to put him in here? Uh, I don't think. I think we lost. I think we just lost the turn. Actually. Um. Wait. What? No. no what are you talking? Well, because he gets a doom, and we're gonna, we're not gonna be able to. I think get both of them, but. So oh, I see. What you're let's saying. Let's just put him on the cliff side, yeah. So, because we don't have to go deal with him after that. Oh. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's Ancient Evils, just looking at that yep. one. <laughs> nice, that's actually fine. Uh, I'll put him... No, I'll put him there. That's actually totally okay. Because we already decided we're just losing this round, so... Okay. Um, so, I am going to start. And I think I still want to kill this guy. Do I still want to kill this guy, or do I want to kill a different guy now? He's aloof, and we're already losing this turn, so... Yeah, maybe he stays and you go after somebody else. This is investigated using willpower, and it's a two-shroud. Yeah. That's okay. not bad. I, I can do that. I okay. can do that easily. I'm going to run... I mean, I don't have to kill any of them now, but I kind of still want to. If you can get... Because we just spend the clues. If you can get two in those woods, I can get these two, and then we can advance this round. Yeah, I can... I am I think I can get two, but I'm going to have to... um kill a guy so I'll start by just going into this location engaging you the new location is the great willow uh, okay that sucks but I'm just not, I'm not gonna hang out there uh, so I'm gonna deal a damage to beat cop to kill this guy and then I will play an evidence and discover both clues at this location nice play and I still have one action left, and I think I'll just leave. <laughs> you just, like, walk in there. <laughs> the cop shoots down that cultist. All right, we got what we needed. We got, some, ev we got some evidence. We're good. Let's get that, that guy was clearly a cultist. <laughs> yeah, you barely, like, made, like, eye contact with this guy. <laughs> Maybe he probably didn't even see you. No, we just blew him away. Oh, I feel kind of bad for the guy now, but he shouldn't have had Doom on him, you know? Hey, fuck. He was like chanting something, so yeah. not bad. He, these guys scary looking. We got the mask and everything. All right, I'm that's gonna a, investigate. That's, a, that's like a big old mask. Investigate using willpower. Cultus minus two. Place one, do one. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. matter. <laughs> And I also get a card out of it. There, I'll play the Doom on this guy. There we go. Next action. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna... Play this for three. And the, the emergency cash, that is. Mm -hmm. And then spend three to put out my lockpicks. 
and let's go ahead and fire them up. Because if I add my agility, it's just added to my willpower, so I'm eight. Nice. Let's just not mess with things. Nice. Let's just spend the clues now. Uh, we don't have any actions left. But... Oh, do we need to? No, no, we can just spend them as a. It's not an action. We just. But I mean, do we want actions or do we do we care? Uh, I don't really care. Do I have an action left? Hold on a second. I played it emergency cash. Played lock I picks. played lock picks. Investigated and I used lock twice. Picks. Yeah, because you use lock picks and you also investigated once just basic. Oh, I did. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I did. That's that's how I got. Okay. Yeah. So, sure. Yeah. Do we want to, or do should I? Well, maybe I should actually. Uh, I could play. I could wait to play my shot and play my shotgun, and then we could just do that after that. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's, I'm let's, just kind of worried that maybe it spawns an enemy. I forget what it does. I also do. <laughs> I'm just wondering. Like, I can't remember if the agenda advancing is worse. Uh, <laughs> it usually is if we want to stay on top of it. Yeah. I'm fine. I, let's just, let's just advance. I don't. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. I, We're playing fast and loose. Uh, if I die, you know doesn't matter <laughs> we'll just go play circle and time <laughs> yeah <laughs> unveiling the plan scattered throughout the forest you've seen glyphs and arcane sigils in various places etched into the bark of trees carved upon the faces of stone and dripped in blood upon the ground though you cannot decipher these glyphs you notice that most of them tend to face south following these signs leads you by twists and turns toward a curve in the darkness darkest and coldest part of the forest as you advance shadowy figures emerge from the trees blocking the only path to the cave the ritual site into play and then the cultist people yep who are these two that's and nothing. the ritual site i think is actually connected to the main path yeah nice yeah these guys are these guys are chumps can we not they're not with... no they don't know they they're the main path right is it main path yeah it's on the main path oh my gosh can we parlay with him probably yeah you not. can still parlay probably right okay you see this is why we should not have done this no, 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 this is fine. Don't worry about it. You're going to get beat up. They, take, they do damage. I'm fine. That's fair. Uh, and then we advance. Act two, into the darkness. Uh, the remaining cultists have followed you into the woods to try to stop you, and now they block the path to your objective. They stand ominously beneath the overhanging trees, silent sentinels in the night. You must defeat them or sneak past if you are to gain access to the site of a ritual. The investigator enters the ritual site advance. Okay. Okay, enemy phase. You get a little beat up, a little worse for wear. Uh, yeah, it's fine. I'll take three damage. They're actually and then kind of chumps. Who? They're kind of chumps. <laughs> uh, death to the intruders for Agenda 1B. Throughout the woods, a shrieking cry echoes from somewhere deeper in the forest. A score of hideous voices answer the call. Inhuman as the bane of hounds, and yet articulate, repeating a singular name. Murdoch, Murdoch, Murdoch. Shovel the encounter, discard pile into the counter deck, and discard cards on the top until monster enemies discarded spawn the enemy at the main path and place a doom on. Did we shuffle the um the the agents of sets in here as well? Oh, we did not. Yeah. Okay, I'll tell I'll tell you what. I'm gonna shuffle. Reveal one. All right. So it's going to be Cthulhu's people. Apologies. Forgot about the Cthonians have come to play. Uh, everyone always forgets about the Cthonians, you know? We'll add them in now. Okay. Which is, I, I think, an appropriate time to add them. Yeah, they're chanting Umordoth, which makes sense. <laughs> and Act 2 reads, The ritual begins. Umordoth. Umbordoth, Umbordoth. The chanting builds in intensity, echoing into the cold air of the night. The sparse clouds in the sky coalesce above the Arkham Woods, blotting out the faint light of the stars. Each enemy gets plus one fight and plus one evade. To make matters worse. Did we get a we didn't get the top of our we didn't get to discard the monster enemy, did we? Oh. Uh yeah, that's what this is. That's that's what I'm doing. Discarding the top card. I mean, technically, yeah. Okay, sweet, a grave eater. That's easy. Uh, he's, he goes with me at the main path. Okay. Then he gets a doom. Mm -hmm. And he gets plus one fight and plus one evade? Swell. Yeah, I think that's everybody. Okay. That's, uh, this I is starting to get a little scarier. 
Yeah, it's getting just worse now in counter cards. Okay, I got an Acolyte of Umar Hoth. Can I get? Go oh, no. as well. Oh no. <laughs> That's, a Oof. That's a bad thing. Okay. I have a plan. Okay. I have a plan. Just so you know, none of these guys are elite, so. Oh, that's that's perfect. Actually, I don't think it matters whether they're elite or not. Okay. Um, so you have the resources to parlay with Victoria, but I'd rather you play a shotgun. I think, I think I can go in, evade everybody, and then we get into the ritual site. That is my plan. Because they won't hunt, will they? Uh, no, none of them have hunt. Nothing actually has hunt right now. Yeah. Oh, there's no doom on yep. these guys either. The doom's gone. That's right. Okay, so I need to go first. Okay. I need to put actions on me. And I am going to evade this Acolyte, and I really don't want to miss. Minus oh five God. if there's an ancient one enemy in play, reveal another token. There's not, but I'm four, five, six. All right, I will... Oh, no. No, he has three. Six to three? Yeah, you pass. <laughs> you pass. No, five. Yeah, no, yeah, well, I, so my master plan is now taking a hit because I don't have money anymore. Really bad. Uh-oh. Uh, and then I can take one, two. Yeah. So this is not going to go as well as I had hoped. I mean... But it's too late to go back. I think I have to lucky this to get through it. Okay. And I get a card... Okay. Okay. So I do have a solution. I just don't have money for said solution. So now that I've already started my turn, what would you like me to do to kind of help? Oh, actually, if you kill, if we kill the Grave Eater, we can get Billy Cooper. Yeah, that's kind of my plan at this point. Um, and then I can, I don't really want to parlay with Victoria Devereaux, but I could. Like, I'm not actually that opposed to that. I think my thought right now is I just punch the Grave Eater to death, get rid of Billy Cooper, and then bribe Victoria Devereaux. It's not, like, fantastic, but honestly it works out pretty well. Yeah, it clears up the board. So I think you, yeah. just, head, you just head to the ritual site and start getting clues. Do you want me to leave you, or do you want me to hang around so I can give you stuff? I don't think you need to hang around to give me stuff. I have five fight. I'm feeling pretty confident that I can punch this guy once and then beat cop him to death if I need to. I see. Okay, I'm I'm trusting you then. Mm -hmm. Actually, be my action because it's one. It's two actions to get in there. I'm gonna spend two. Then here's what I'll do instead. Is it two and actions to get in there? Two. I should have just done this from the start. Oh well. Yeah. My my, I had a different plan in mind, so that was why. Uh, so we advance. Yep. Last rites. When you enter the cave, the air grows cold, and your nostrils are assaulted by the pungent smell of blood and rot. Shuffle the encounter discard onto the encounter deck. Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until one enemy is discarded. <laughs> two instead of throw three or more. Spawn each discarded enemy at the ritual site. So I have an enemy I need to deal with now. Okay. Yeah. And you have three actions to do that though, so that's not bad. Yeah. One, two, three. Get rid of those frozen and fears. I love it. Oh, it's just a grave eater, too. That's easy. Okay, disrupting the ritual. The site of the cult's ritual is inside a large cavern in a dark corner of the woods. In the center of the chamber is a candlelit circle marked by rocks and arcane runes. You can spend a clue to test willpower or agility. Three, if you succeed, you place a clue on this act. If there's two per investigator, so four, we advance. Okay, first things first, I need to get this guy off my back. He's a fairly easy evade, so I will just evade, I think. Okay. Oh, he's a three evade, though. He is a three evade, yeah. Three evade. Three. We'll go four to evade. Nice. Got him. And then... I don't have any clues, so I will fire up the lock picks. I'm going to pick the cave lock. Yeah, cave lock. 
Nice. Get a minus one, so I'll get a clue that way. I need to spend two. No, spend one to make the test. Okay, yeah. so and then I'll, I'll, for my final action, I will spend it to try to land this. Uh, we'll do, I guess, willpower, and I'll put in unexpected courage. Nice. Plus one. Woof, nice. So that's one clue on the objective. All right, so we just need three more? Yeah. No problem. Did we lose our clues? Yeah, we did. Yeah, okay, I think I should, yours should be I shouldn't have these, yeah. Okay, now it is me. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spend the resources so that if this goes very poorly, I've at least done that. So what, what are you doing? doing? Spending the resources to parlay with Victoria. Okay. Take control of this guy. So that's action one. Uh, action two, I am going to punch this grave eater and I'm going to commit overpower. So I'm going one, two, three, uh, seven to three. Plus one, that is a damage, and I get to draw a card. That's Oh, you got a plus one. Oh. Nice. Um, and then I think I just beat cop him because that's the smart thing to do. And he dies. Yeah. So he's gone. And then Billy Cooper is added to the victory display. And beat cop took a damage. Don't forget that. Uh, and cool. then I think last action is move up here yeah come hang out with me yeah i think so this is where the party's at okay <laughs> upkeep i'll take this guy thank you i'd I think, appreciate i think i'm the fighter now <laughs> <laughs> yeah i switched to lock picks so i drew the mask of umord off I, I guess i'll just put it on this guy does he get a doom i think so and he gains a loot. yeah so we lost a turn, but I think we're actually doing okay. I think, yeah, we might be able to nail this. And I get test three head. <clears throat> three twenty fail by. Discard a card. Uh, right three brains. Do you want me to help you with this? I can help you. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm just gonna go. Am I just gonna go five to three? I'm just going to go 5 to 3. This is a horrible idea, but here we go. Yeah, it's good. We're good. We're good. Okay, cool. That didn't ruin my plans. Nothing's trying to, like, hurt me in the encounter deck yet, though, so that's kind of a little frustrating, honestly. <laughs> you want to get beat up? I, I've, you know, I've just... I've had worse situations with encounter decks, and uh, I'm just feeling a little bit, like, underwhelmed by it, you know? Maybe we should focus on getting rid of that Dreams of Relay, because that's giving you that minus one willpower. Yeah. Oh, yeah, did I pass? I still passed. Okay, good. Yeah, I gave you two. I don't think you would have if I hadn't, though. No, no. No, you, no I would not have. Yeah, so thank you. Um, okay. Yes, so we have to do some punching. Um, I got to get rid of this guy, too. Uh, do you want me to go first? Either way. Okay. I think I am going to attack this guy. So I'm going five to three. I'll go... S do I want to save that? Are we... We're making good time. <laughs> You're making very good time. Yeah. Do, would you rather me go first to see how much progress I can make? Yeah, because I think that's just going to depend on how much I commit to this. Like, if we do feel like we are going to spawn in Wardoth, I kind of want to save this card, but... Okay. I got one clue. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to spend this clue to try to add it to the thing. We'll do... Yeah, we'll do willpower again. Minus one. Nice. I made it. And then for my final action... I'm going to just draw another... Card. No, I'm just going to investigate. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I need to... I'm three to three, though. So I, I will lucky this. Okay. Yeah, I feel like we're... We may even outpace Umordoth here. Yeah, we might. It looks like we can land a Dunwich win if we just, can just keep pushing. 
Yeah, because... Yeah, I think so. Alright, well, in that case, I think we're going to just punch this guy, and we're going to commit a vicious blow. So we're going uh, 5, 6 to 3. Minus 1, he dies. And I will get a clue from this location. Nice. Um, and then I think... We're so, two tests away. Yeah, I think I just go for a test. Oh, no, I have minus one head, so maybe I don't go for a test, because I'm just going to two to two. And these only refill at the end of the round, right? Yeah, I'm so, just throwing them there. Well, I, can, I would maybe be able to grab some, but I guess we don't need any more. Yeah, we don't need any more. Uh, yeah, okay, just... I think I'm going to play an emergency cash for my second action. And then my last action is going to be just... Uh, I have one action left. What do I do with that? Uh, I guess just... Gaining another resource. <laughs> yeah, that's it. The fighter problem. No shame in gaining a resource. Yeah, and then this goes back up to four clues, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, so we're at three... Yeah, three of... Five. I got a young deep one on me. Okay. I take a horror. I'm fine with that. Uh, okay. Who could do that? I also have a young deep one on me, and I take a. Here horror. are the young deep ones. They have come. They have come. <laughs> they are here. <laughs> uh, okay. That's that's ultimately fine. Does it damage an horror? Yeah. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Well, I should not have spent that lucky because I that would have been better spent trying to do the objective. I think oh, well. I think I'm gonna go first, if that's okay. okay. So yeah. I'm gonna spend my first action taking an attack of opportunity to play shotgun, but I'm gonna cancel it with I've had worse and gain two resources instead. So I only spend three resources off of this. Nice. Um. And then I think I'm gonna shoot a young deep one. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going, I get plus three, so I'm going eight to three. Yeah, eight to three, I th shotgun. I think I just go for it. I don't think I spend anything else. It. Yeah, eight Even to three, minus two, so that is six to three, six that's three to damage. Three. That's so a dead, damage. that's a dead guy. The deep one. Uh, and I'll take this, a clue, so there should be three clues on here. Uh, okay. And I'll just put one on me. Uh, and then, are you going to shoot mine? Uh, no, actually. I think I'm just going to draw a card for my last action. Which is a little risky. But You're not going to hit me. Huh? You're not going to hit me. <laughs> no, but I only have one bullet. I don't know. Oh, that's fair. And I, would, I might just do two damage. But, I don't know. Maybe. Well, I can help you. I can help you kill him. Uh... Is that what you want? I guess. Kind yeah. of. Because okay. like, otherwise he just re-engages us and deals more horror. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Okay, I'll shoot him. Take a baseball bat. So I'm going up. Four, eight, nine, nine to three. Let's just do it. Minus one, he's dead. Yeah. Minus one, he's dead. Okay. First action I draw. Thank you. Second action... I'm going to spend my clue and try to put it on the thing. Okay. Minus one, that's that. Can you spend my clues as well? Uh, no, you can't. Oh. I don't think so. Okay, so I'm going to have to do that one. That's what I should have done then. Oh, well. No, that's all right. I'd rather have the deep one dead. I will use lock picks. Auto. Ooh. Let's go ahead and redraw that token. Nice. Minus five. Minus five. That still is a pass, but you do lose a pick. Yep. And then do you have one action left? I do. Uh, so I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to try. Here you go. Have a guts. Thank you. Minus one. That's... We advance. All right. <laughs> we advance. I think we did it. I think so. The ritual is broken. You brave the unnatural chill and weave through arcane symbols crossing the threshold of the circle. You smother the markings in the ground, covering them with dirt. 
breaking apart the carefully constructed pattern of smooth rocks. A shrill noise pierces your ears as the air grows suddenly warmer and the world distorts around you, settling into normality. We made it. All right. And what's the resolution? One? Uh, R1, yes. You have managed to prevent the cult from summoning its master. Although you're unsure what would have happened had the cult succeeded, you're relieved that, at least for the time being, Arkham is safe. You capture as many of the cultists as you can find, but very few townspeople believe your tale. Perhaps it was all in your head after all. In your campaign log record, the ritual to summon Umordoth was broken. Each investigator suffers two mental trauma uh, and never fully recovers from his or her ordeal. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display and a bonus five experience as uh, we saved Arkham from a terrible fate. So that's another seven experience. Nice. And we're playing Dunwich next. So <laughs> I think what I'm going to do here for the All people right. watching at home is I'm going to pull up our thing. Let's throw this over here. There it is. And we're going to go to our resolution. So, we're going to bold that we did this one. We are Virtual. going to say that, you're going to say, uh, so I get seven, and you have, how much did you spend? Well, I had eight, and then I just got another seven on top of that, is that right? Did you spend, no, you only had eight going in, and you spent two for lockpicks, right? Oh, no, I had ten, and I spent two for lockpicks, so then I had eight left over. You had 10? I thought you spent all your XP in the first scenario. In the first one, no. I kept two. Oh, okay. Both. Okay. So you have 17, and I have 7. All right. I'm just going to record... Uh, I, I guess that. <laughs> all right. And we're going to do some like kind of... Uh, Bookkeeping, mostly around uh, how much experience Lita Chandler is worth. Um, though I think we have a good idea of what that is. And then we will, uh, in our next video, when we continue this thing, we'll go over uh, what we're going to do with Dunwich and um, what characters we're playing and how we spent this extra uh, VP to get what which characters we unlocked. Um, but I think that's going to be it for tonight. That's well, hold on. I want to unpack this just for a minute. I... I had 17, but what about you? Didn't you just get the 7 here? I just get the 7 here, yeah. Okay. So then that that's a grand total. We should just pull it together, I think, at this point. <coughs> I guess that's right. Yeah. We'll just get, just have 22. Oops, that's the wrong button. Or 20, uh, 24, right? 24? Yeah. What am I, what am I saying? <coughs> 24. So we have 24. Each investigator costs 5 XP apiece, so we can get we can get most of them. Which is yeah, good, but we're also is... thinking tentatively Lita is going to be pretty darn expensive. Yeah. So if we want to get her, we're going to need to drop a huge chunk into that, which I would like to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, the other thing to note is we are going to Dunwich, which has notoriously low uh, VP. So that's that's another thing to I guess uh, think about. But yeah, the uh, achievements are going to become much more pertinent for that yeah. campaign. And I think this is appropriate, too, because technically in progression, you are supposed to go from, you know, at release order. So this is the one we would have gone to had we been doing it faithfully. We just we had the option. We just experiment. Yeah. And there's no guarantees that we'll go to Carcosa after the end of Dunwich. That's the future. <laughs> That's the future. All right. Well, uh, hold on. I'm just kind of I'm updating our sheet like while while we're playing while we're doing this. So there it is. The Dunwich Legacy. That's what we're playing next. I now have to go through and figure out every resolution in the Dunnage Legacy and what we're going to do for them after that. But that's a problem for future Tom. Uh, for now, I think we're happy. We're good. We played the Night of the Zealot in one night. It's the same night. We did it. It's the same night. <laughs> wow. Look at us. Yeah, we moved like lightning. This was a pretty good team, despite being with the really limited card pool. We did we did great, I felt. Yeah, that was kind of wild. I think we got really lucky most of the time and then lamented when we were unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. So I surprised. Yeah. 
All right. Well, uh, we should probably wrap things up. So um, thank you all for watching. If you if you made it this far, we've been Harlan is in danger, and uh, look forward to more videos coming out where we put ourselves in more danger. <laughs>